Good day everyone. So today we will learn on how to determine the parts and properties of a parabola given focus at 10, 0 and directrix x equals negative 10. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to plot or sketch the given parts or not on a Cartesian plane. This is for us to easily determine the opening of the parabola. So the focus is located here based on the given and your direct link is the line x equals negative 10. If you observe our given figure, since the focus is located always inside the parabola, so it implies that our parabola opens to the right. And our, then our desired standard equation for this is the equation y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times the quantity x minus h. We are given with focus and directrix. Take note that the vertex is halfway between focus and directrix. Thus, the vertex is located here at the origin. So we have another vertex. So we can determine then the, the focal distance or the distance from vertex to focus or vertex to direct leaks, and we notate that parameter as our distance c. So the distance from vertex to focus, that's 10 units. So we have here c is equal to 10. And this is also the distance from vertex to the direct leaks. So based on our equation, the 4c here serves as the length of the lattice rectum. Since we have now the value of C, which is 10, to so just substitute the value of your C as 10. So the length of the lattice rectum is 40 units. And with that, we can easily determine the endpoints of the lattice, the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So take note that our lattice rectum is a line segment connecting two points of the parabola that pass through the focus and the lattice and the lattice rectum is parallel to our directrix. So since the length of the lattice rectum is 40 units, so I will count 20 units above the focus to locate the endpoint one or the A sub one. And I will count 20 units below the focus to locate the endpoint two. So this is your endpoint one here. And this is your endpoint two here. So the coordinate of E sub one or endpoint one is 10, 20. And our endpoint two or E sub two is 10, negative 20. So if we will sketch our parabola, this is the sketch of the parabola that opens to the right. Okay, sorry. Okay, sketch of the parabola that opens to the right. And this is the latus rectum. So the last thing that we need to determine is the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry, this is the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts. And this line will pass through the points vertex and focus. So this is your, this is your axis of symmetry. Basically your axis of symmetry is the x-axis. And observe that your axis of symmetry intersects the y-axis at this point. Thus, the equation of the axis of symmetry is y equals zero. So how are we going to determine now the standard equation of the parabola? Since we are guided with the equation y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h, we determine the coordinate of the vertex as zero for h and the k value is zero, so to substitute that value to our standard equation. 
we have y minus zero quantity squared is equal to, and we, over, we already determined the value of the 4C, which is the length of the lattice rectum, which is 40 units. So this is 40 times x minus zero. Then you need to simplify the given equation. So you have y squared is equal to 40x. Then this is the standard equation of the given parabola.